Hey, Sagi, baby, what's the deal? I see you're not triggered. I see you out there looking like the ideal person and your feelings secretly keeping things that you love to yourself, huh? And your intuition with that one cup. And your masculine energy proud community, what's the fucking deal? You releasing shit. And you're judging it. You're getting lucky with what's deep in your heart and what it, things mean to you. Seven Pentacles again, friend. Seven, you getting lucky with the magic you pushing. Hello? Well, what do you know? <laughs> you you completing cycles. You're in your Gemini energy, jack of all tra uh, trades. You going for the gold. You using judgment, good judgment. I'm proud of you. That's what's up. And then you got this troll that's trolling you like they should be because you are the shit. And they're letting go of their past. This Scorpio, or it could be Taurus, and their masculine and their moving energy, stay, uh, stubborn energy. Yeah. Yes. Um, what situation in your life is bringing? So this person God, wants damn. to bring wealth and stability to you. You see this, and they're working on it with this Capricorn energy. Yeah, and they having a good judgment with it with this Virgo. Yes, they using their tools. They they feel like where they are is a burden. They want to complete that cycle. Hello. They have. I feel like this person has told this person that they're tired of this shit. That they're not getting anywhere. So this person, you know, when you have your own business. Or you want to do shit, you got to remember, if your spiritual guidance ain't your boss, it's going to be your clients. So this person really think that they can look good or just buy these products and people just going to come get this done. Or maybe the idea that they have is just like another job. It's not a hobby that they're uh, investing in so they can do for the community, you know, and be happy doing it. It's just a job. It has no value. Even if it is their own business. It's just like a job, but they working for them damn selves. Yeah, they ready to release this little bitch that's out there as a lamb back. Hmm. Fronting like they do things for their community, but they broken hearted. So they could be in their community gossiping about their relationship. Because like I said, I think your person communicated that to them because they ain't keeping it no secret. They're not keeping it a secret. That they don't want this person. Yeah, they ready to abandon this shit and change. And come, I think they're in their feelings. Are they looking at you, right? Trolling you. And thinking of a relationship. While this land bag child is out there in the community. Remember, she's, he is a, a slut. He cheats. She cheats. So I guess whoever come into their business or whatever they do, they probably cheat with people with that they do business with or they probably meet a lot of people and all this and they cheat. And now they broken hearted. In the community, broken hearted. Talking about somebody betrayed them. They're lonely, upset in this disorder. Of course they are. Because they're upside down with the work. This is masculine energy. They stability and security. That brown is no good. That green is shitty. To me, with that water sprinkling, they on their motherfucking head. See how his head going into the water? Because they wasn't thinking. They drowning. Yes, no spiritual transformation. This is a person that probably think they could control what they can. They are not a manifest. <laughs> they reflecting on the bullshit they didn't put their work into that. You know, when they over there watching your ass. They over there watching you. So this person could be stalking you physically. 
riding by your house, sitting in the car, watching you walk by. Who gives a fuck? Because if they haven't approached you, fuck them. Scary ass hoes. <laughs> ah. Yeah, they working on something. Mm-hmm. Eight. They need balance because they broke. And they magic don't work. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this person is really slow mentally, like low IQ, because you gotta remember, boo, your person went over there because they thought this person was smarter. I mean, they thought this person had more, but they could take advantage of them. Or they thought this person had an idea and didn't think you was gonna do yours, or maybe you hadn't started yours, or whatever, this person tried to throw you to me. To me, if your person want to leave this fucking bag with these big ass pinnacles, this person, person don't want to change this cycle. Let me tell you. To me, it's kind of like your person probably already was with this person watching you and seeing you come up and it started making them not like the person they're with. Because it's not, it's one thing to have a business or something, but it's another thing if you're a nice person, you keep your house clean, you know, you live an honest life, yo, what you post is fucking real, you know what I'm saying? You probably look good natural in with the hair weave or look natural even sun on your bad motherfucking day. These people can't fuck with you. You might have a better body or something going on ten times better where you intimidated your person. Could be that you wouldn't let them cheat and do shit. This karmic is doing whatever they want to. See, your person could be a hoe with them. They could come in and out. This person, 9 out of 10, whatever you would not put up with, like mine. I'm not going to chase no man. <laughs> That's stupid. Because I know once you, if you chase a man, he'll get bored with your ass regardless if he know what a man is supposed to be doing or not. He doesn't even know his damn self, especially he might not even know how men are. If he sat around with his homeboys talking about a fine empress or emperor, she sat with her homegirls talking about a fine ass man. She don't know how women are. Hell, I don't even talk sexually about my man with my sisters because I see how they do they fucking homegirls. <laughs> Fuck they homegirls man and shit. Based on him having a big penis and she told him. So you dealing with some people that really are fake flexing. They're not in reality. So this karmic chased your person, did all these things, probably competed with you, act like they was gonna start a business or said they had one, you know. That's why your person was confused. And then you probably came out late with your business. Your person probably didn't know you was gonna start a business. Your person probably didn't know you was that smart. Didn't know you was, you know, on your shit, period. With your kids, with your life. With your credit, you know, this person didn't know shit. So they went and got with some fake rich bitch. And that's why I feel like your person wanted to put up that they're in a relationship. They want to put all that shit up because they probably was trying to hurt this, uh, um, uh, using this karmic to hurt you. And then I feel like at some point, if this karmic entangled or y'all was sending you fake requests or whatever these ugly hoes doing because I had so many ugly hoes sending me friend requests and that I block that I wouldn't give a fuck. I didn't see that one decent, clean, hygienic neck person that I had to block. I wouldn't give a fuck what he's with. That whole hygiene looked disgusting. Yuck mouth. Them hoes looked at dirty, straight out hood rat bitches. No offense, but they look like kind of like welfare ass hood rat. Who a rat type of female dancing and shaking their ass and taking booty pictures? Bitch, I ain't nothing of that. So your person pick some hood rich bitch that they can lie and play games with. And that's what they got. Uh-huh. A hood rich bitch that was already in karma. That probably use her body and talk and don't know that these men just sticking and moving. And your person only dumbass that stayed. Cause they ain't really developing anything. They just was someone your person count on to fuck. Cause if they run around the world like this now, if they run around like this with no heart and intellect on fucking not uh what's this uh, nine, 
That's a completion. Now they in reverse big time. Man, what's this is a jumbo low IQ ass hoe. This dude is stupid. And now they over there reflecting what? You're nothing. You have no value. The shit you do, I wouldn't even want to get up and participate in. Because you have no spiritual, spiritual awakening. You dumb. You have shallow thinking. Like you can't hang with the big dogs. Fuck are you doing? Look how you move. You a king in reverse? You ain't been putting no nothing in with them big ass pinnacles in reverse. This probably, probably, person probably didn't even mind your person working hard or doing things. Take, 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 and give little. <laughs> your person over there being a fucking sucker. Basically. Nah, this could be your person too as well. Don't want to do shit for them and have no feelings with that cup. Because they see this person ain't having no transform, no spiritual transformation. They still doing the same shit. They still reflecting. And your person still working. Trying to balance shit and ain't nothing coming out of it. Your, your person is pouring water into a cup with a hole at the fucking bottom. Her brain, his brain, he's a scarecrow. And your person is the lion. Don't have no motherfucking courage or whichever one. Ten man with no heart. They all them hoes over there gossiping and talking. Motherfucker ain't got no heart, no motherfucking brain, no courage, no home like Dorothy. Probably can't even take care of their dogs. The pets they get. Let alone they fucking kids because if you're a taxpayer, you probably paying for that with these hoes. You got a your person with a poverty minded person. Just saying they got a business or something to because it sound good. But they really not about their life. Uh, what situation in your life is holding you back? This is you. A dollar if anything's holding you back, probably just trying to get your shit together. Eight. That's balance. Probably just working on more stuff. Yes, working on more stuff, and so is this karmic. Just laying back. She's in the community, or he in the community with his heart broken. <laughs> What aspect of your life needs rest and healing? Yep, your person is trying to release this past and they need rest and healing so they can reflect with this six, this. So they ready to abandon this karmic. You ain't in no fucking regret. You ain't trapped with this uh, eight of swords. You're not trapped. You ain't got no fucking disease. You probably celibate. Yeah, this person trying to avoid a karma. They probably on drugs or something, but they not learning. They listen. And they got shitty intuition. I feel like your person is letting go of the past because they have no clarity on this situation. But your person is trolling and need therapy. So your person probably wants some clarity. It'd be funny if you were an energy reader watching this and your person wants you to do a reading for them or some shit. I'm just saying. Excuse me. What sign is preparing you to move into a new direction? See? You haven't gotten a sign with your project or something with these cups that you're not in regret about in a new direction. That's why you're not triggered. You on some other shit. Yes, this bitch do not want justice. 
So then your person's not getting clarity about what needs to see what see what needs to be resolved in right in your life. Oh, maybe they on drugs. Maybe they cheat. Maybe they won't let go of their business because it's failing and your person like, bitch, go get a job already. Cause I mean I got a job and I'm starting a business. I have a business. I don't know what, you know how them dope dealers or them rappers don't think they need a job to do both or whatever they doing. They just be stupid. Uh, you know, you probably that type of person that'll go get two motherfucking jobs, Sagittarius, because I am. Yeah, this person is in reality. That this bitch ain't about nothing. What are you passionate about and ready to? You're not passionate about anything. You haven't been creative. <laughs> Probably when it comes to not being triggered, but you're looking like the perfect husband or wifey out there in your community. <laughs> yeah, this person want to reflect this. Wherever they going with these cups. They want to reflect they have a family. Oh, that's they man. Oh, that's my woman. Bullshit. That's how your person feels trolling. You. Get ready to pull that shit out. I feel like with this, you're using your heart and intellect with these swords to keep your heart together. Because you're probably the only one that's going to do it with this deep at the top. Balance yourself. What painful aspect of your life do you need to confront? Really, I mean, if you have nobody to support you, what the fuck is there to confront? That's why you're not letting people trigger you and you stand like this. Ain't shit to confront. It is what it is. If you're lonely, you know you're lonely because you're by your motherfucking self, right? Not because you're really lonely. Or maybe you are lonely, but it's not like you have a choice. Yeah. This baby mama... Or someone in they, maybe this mother-in-law that's in their family. Some bitch that probably needs to mind her business. Maybe this karmic mama needs to mind her fucking business. Because she has no inner knowing. So maybe this karmic and her mama is keeping things away from your person. What situation in your life do you need to protect and cherish? Your person don't feel like they have anything to protect and cherish. So just like I said, your person don't have clarity about this relationship. This is why I feel like your heart is not broken because you don't feel like you have nothing in your life that you have to protect and cherish. Probably not when it comes to love or your responsibility. It's like you taking care of your business. Your shit is good. You working on things that make you happy. <laughs> You're not worried about bills and shit. That's, you worried about gotcha. You worried about things that are spiritual inclining you and probably making money with it, honey. You're probably doing something fun, Hatch. Yeah, this bitch needs to change. They ain't reverse about how they support or what they struggling with. They ain't struggling with shit. That's probably what they telling their parent. Whoever, they sister, they brother, whoever's this feminine. That could be a Libra or Taurus. What situation in your life is creating all the opposite of those signs? What situation in your life is creating some type of power struggle? Yeah, they telling their mom or their sister or whoever these bitches are that's in their family. That they going through, they struggling in their relationship. Just steady talking and doing nothing like they've been doing with this deadbeat ass job they probably got. Are you are their deadbeat ass business that's like a fucking job? Are you prepared to make a decision that may change the course of your life? Yep, your person ready to make a decision because they don't have some kind of knowing. Like they don't. I feel like <laughs> with this. I feel like with this card, if your person's with the narcissist, 
you never really get to know a narcissist. Your person probably been trying to have a deep connection with this person, and it's just not happening. Everything is a joke. Everything is a, a it's about you know flashy. Everything is no real connection. Yeah, you've been secretive, keeping on your grind with this Capricorn energy, keeping shit to yourself. What situation in your life are you still holding on to? You probably still holding on to the relationship for some of y'all. Probably still holding on to an old ass job. That you want to leave. Because you're with this floor, you're uh, with those pinnacles, you're protecting it. Yeah, this person's in judgment. Probably telling their homegirls and them that they got caught doing some shit. Oh, they a little off with this, this, uh, with this red cross. They need healing. They a little off. What situation in your life is getting, trying to get your attention, girl? Your kids? Like, their priorities are fucked up. With this 20, wherever they meeting and up at, they going through judgment to me probably too. Right, so it's like this person should think of this as a power struggle. They not learning their lesson. They should be like this, going through it, struggling, but they feel like they could run game and get your person to do the same shit they've been doing. And they probably going to try to go to their mom or empress to get advice. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So this person don't have a mind. See, look. And they having no spiritual awakening. They don't want to end this because they a broke bitch. They heart and intellect is fucked up. <laughs> They don't want to learn their lesson. They don't want to get a job. They want to keep your person just the way they are with this Scorpio energy. And your Scorpio or your Taurus could be over there judging this whether this family dynamic is what I can see it as because they're in reverse about it. What ideas are you ready to imply with others? None. Not even your bald headed ass mama. Not even her Yankee doodle looking ass. Wannabes. Yeah, you ain't fishing for shit. <laughs> what situation in your life is new beginning, is bringing about some type of opportunity? I don't feel like you're looking for opportunity because you already got enough going on. You probably just working more in your house and going outside, probably with your community. But you, some people are looking at you as a good-looking person, like a wife or a hubby. Yeah, this age is unbalanced. This household is unbalanced. Dysfunction. When it comes to feelings, this person is unbalanced. They, uh, they feel unbal unbalanced at home. I guess that's what they're talking about to this empress. They house is unfucked up. They, they're in their feelings. Crying like a bitch with this love in reverse can't reflect shit. So I feel like your person ain't budging when it comes to stop giving them things and making them feel like they privileged. Which they never was because your person was going broke doing it. So how much? It's like these people really wasn't, she was not, he was not privileged. They want to stay hood rich. And your person is off that shit. Letting go of the past. Don't nobody want to just have a raggedy ass car that's fixed up and shit like that. This person probably embarrassing. Probably put business out on Facebook that makes no sense. And can't even back up their shit. They probably doing things on YouTube and shit you wouldn't even do. <laughs> or tell nobody. You know, they acting like a fool, like they're not your, like the way they act in general. It's probably a turn off for your person. You ain't torn between shit. 
You happy, Sandy? You not triggered? So you you probably more balanced. Look, this person's secrets are all out. That they not nothing. <laughs> Your person don't even want to fight. <laughs> Just fuck it. You over there thinking about what you need to do next, child. Let me get out of here. Okay, this bitch wants somebody to agree. Your person ain't agreeing with this shit. He probably t- tired of taking kids that ain't his. Oh, this probably per- this person probably <laughs> this person probably got their own goddamn kids to take care of. Plus yours, like man, get the fuck out of here. Probably will take care of this person's kids and wouldn't take care of their own. And you over there chilling like a villain. What are you a passionate and motivated about? You ain't in life. You ain't passionate and motivated about nothing but your business. It feels like, and keeping yourself balanced in your feelings, not triggered. This bitch here. <laughs> ah, your person. This is your person letting go. Your person don't want to agree with this comment because they know they secret, and your person feel unbalanced about what they know. Let's hear up and read the angel numbers before it tells us something different. Queen of Pentacles, what situation in your life do you hold value to? This person, your person trolling you, not holding value to this. They holding value to you. This is like you, boo. Yeah, they letting go of this third party. They ain't doing shit for them with that ability and security. The security and st- yeah, stability and security, sorry. That brown, that's what that mean. It's in reverse. They probably thinking about that yin and yang. That's why I said, that's why maybe you need to let go of the anger or of the pain or of the things you have with this person if some of y'all want to be with y'all person. But you're not budging. You're really just minding your business. What situation in your life do you need to be logical about? Yeah, this karma needs to be logical, and they're not. You see that little sword? The one they do use out of all the fucking nine. That's why they're unbalanced. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Oh, yes. Yeah. Your person is looking at you like this, right? Like this. And want to protect it with that fool. Mm-hmm. But they need healing. Is this in, you're not protecting shit. In this uh, situation, where can you find wisdom and stability? Yeah, this person needs wisdom and stability. And maybe you need wisdom and stability in the work you need to put in. Because what if you got a third party coming in? (laughs) What if you got someone couple of people looking at you but wait a minute this is in reverse so I don't think you even looking for anybody Sagittarius or uh, because you know about this third party you're not protecting shit you're moving on in your energy you're not abusing you're abusing your power for this person to come towards you your person could abuse their power because they're tired of this karmic if this t- this person, this karmic is not logical. That's why your person is abusing their power. It's like they have no understanding. I told you their IQ is low. Jumbo slow. <laughs> yes, your person probably told them that they're not that smart and that they want to move on. This water energy. They ready, They trying to get prepared to give you a love offer. This motherfucker going to do what he want to do. <laughs> And it might be successful. I don't know what the hell this child. Karmic won't move on. There is no sex. Child. And you're not supporting it. You're doing your own thing. In new phases of your life. And you are ready to pursue. Yeah, you are in your bag. You are already in there, honey. You ain't coming out. No, You're not pursuing nothing new. Probably not even this relationship with this or this person you're not completely thinking about renewing anything. You're more focused on whatever. You might have a lot already going, Sadie. So, healing family issues. 
Your love life is will your love your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is probably what your person is going through, trying to let go of the past, and they need their people which they could get it from you. Children could be a factor in this, affected by this. Your love life. Your love life is could be affected by kids. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Man. Past life relationship. You have known each other already. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So yes, Sagittarius, you probably wind up being with this person. If they're your twin flame, or maybe not. I really feel like you should maybe just get out and meet people. And even if this twin flame come back, then you, because I feel like I'm only single because I haven't been going nowhere. It's a choice. And it might be for some of y'all. Some of y'all are single by choice. So I think at this point, if if you don't know if you want to be with this person, you should go out and just see if you can find someone else and be happy with because that's what this person did and not let their asses wait because you're not even waiting you you're trying to build yourself up so you could be not a burden to someone in a relationship and these bitches are being a burden to each other and purposely looking for people to be a burden on so yes keep up the good work and let me know if you want a reading by January 16th, I'll be doing them for free because I've been doing them in my neighborhood and it's really fulfilling. And I really like how they feel after. So I think I'm pretty good. Have a good day. And don't forget about my email.